Welcome to the Delmarva Almanac. Each week, we connect you to the best of Delmarva. Like other almanacs, our aim is to tell you a little bit about our past, our present, and events in the near future. I'm your host, Dana Kester McCabe. Noreen Taylor began her work life running art classes at a nursing home and with psychiatric patients. An illness forced her to give up work outside her home, but provided her the opportunity to take up art full time. Now Noreen paints theorem paintings. This is an early American form of art created with stencils and hand-painted embellishments. It was done by the girls mostly. They started doing it when they were pretty young. Um, but the, the young people, or, you know, teenagers or young adults enjoyed doing it also. And they might gather in groups and a traveling artist might be in town and they would do it just as something they would enjoy doing, just like we do today. It came about in the early 1800s, late 1700s, and kind of when the Industrial Revolution hit, it, it kind of sizzled out with a lot of the arts that the young ladies did because it was much cheaper to buy a Korean-ized print than it was to um, sit and take the time to make something of your own. The word theorem is a math term, and everybody's always like, why is it called theorem painting? Because it's kind of a strange, you know, term to be calling a, an art form, a mathematical term. As I did the research I could do with what um, was available to me, I found out that they derived that, that theorem word by, um, they would have a stencil for each thing. They'd have a stencil for a bowl, a stencil for an apple, a stencil for a flower. So basically they would bring all these elements together and, and put them upon the, the velvet or paper or whatever they would paint on and make their picture and that's how they got the word theorem. So it was the marrying of all these elements together. Theorem paintings are what some might call monoprints because whether the designs are newly created or based on heirlooms, each resulting painting is unique. Every individual artist brings their own sense of color to the work. Many practitioners, particularly novices, have a flat approach to color. The part that makes it an art form is when you start shading. And you're, you're using your oil paints and you're shading these colors. And on one leaf you'll have, you know, you start with a light, a yellow tone. Um, and you're using these oil paints that are just beautiful colors and tones and you'll start with a yellow and then you might use a medium green, a dark green. Some people who aren't real experienced with it or do it in a more primitive style, they may choose to just take that part of the stencil and color it in all green and not put the yellow down and shade it. it it's very beautiful but you know you're going to make it a lot more beautiful because you're going to be adding all of the detail to it by hand. And basically you have a, a liner brush that you go ahead and put the veining in the leaves and, uh, you know, any decorative parts, um, tendrils of, 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 a cert of grapes, you know, or, you know, different florals may have. Then it really comes to life then. Noreen has been exploring theorem paintings called fractors, which is similar to hand-painted Pennsylvania Dutch furniture from the same period. Matching framing is important for those who want their work to look authentic. Noreen takes her paintings one step further by antiquing them. This is accomplished by washing the painting in a coffee bath, creating an aged and marbled look. Noreen says that a special set of circumstances led her to this work. Well, first of all, I think, you know, I think God led me to do it originally, you know, just kind of, you know, with my illness, the way it all played in, that... I was going to have all this time and I just started doing it and um, so it was something that was available to me that really fulfilled a place in my life that um, you know I needed at that time in my life. Noreen accepts commissions, teach classes, and shows her work at a number of shows annually. Oh, Dover Days is a, f a fun thing and it's a great time to educate people dressed up in our you know costumes from the 18th century um, my husband usually comes and dresses up and he might bring some of his furniture um, this summer um, I actually have no shows but I'll be doing my first um, exhibit 
uh, at um, Historic Houses of Odessa. They're going to have a um, exhibit on theorem painting, which they're going to be showing. There's a gentleman who has a large collection of antique theorems, and then they're going to use my um, theorems to, you know, contrast with his. So it's, I have a real privilege of them asking me to do that. Find out more about Noreen's work at noreenspaintings.com. We'd like to thank our community partners, the Friends of Delmarva Public Radio, the Community Foundation of the Eastern Shore, and underwriters eatdrinkbyart.com for their help in bringing this program to you, our audience. Our theme music was provided by Brightside Studio. This show has been a Moonshell production. Thanks for listening. Until we meet again, may the rhythms and tides of Delmarva bring you good fortune. <laughs>